Speaking of a storm, Hurricane Idelia is slowly making her way towards the Sunshine State. So we've asked Megan Borowski, Senior Meteorologist for the Florida Public Radio Emergency Network, to join us with the latest and what we can expect here on Northeast Florida. Megan, how are you? Uh, doing all right. It's funny because this two shall pass has been what I've been telling myself for the past 36 hours or so. So I agree 100% and we've just got to keep breathing and not panicking. But uh, Idalia strengthened into a hurricane this morning. It now has winds up to 80 miles an hour. It's moving northward. It is intensifying. We are expecting it to continue intensifying as it moves over the Gulf of Mexico. Now, uh, models are, are projecting landfall with the Big Bend or the Nature Coast, even potentially the forgotten coast of Florida uh, tomorrow morning potentially is a major hurricane in Category 3, winds between 111 and 129 miles an hour. After that, it should hook northeastward and will likely clip the Jacksonville metro area. So right now for Jacksonville, a tropical storm warning is in effect. And we've got a couple of hazards we're really monitoring. Um, you know, there's the potential for quick tornado spin-ups as we get those outer bands moving on through our area. There is the potential for those tropical storm force or even hurricane force winds arriving tomorrow late in the morning through the afternoon for Jacksonville. And then on top of that, uh, flooding rainfall rates at times. Uh, heavy rainfall could cause flash flooding um, for the Jacksonville metro. And something else that, that we need to keep an eye on, too, is that we've got major Hurricane Franklin over the Atlantic and that is causing a myriad of issues as well, especially directly along the coastline, dangerous surf and rip currents. So we're sandwiched in between these two storms, and they're both causing issues uh, for the state of Florida and for the Jacksonville metro area. With both of those storms out there, does that mean the beaches should be paying extra attention to the, you know, not I don't want to say convergence, but basically like being in between these two things? Well, I mean, we've, we've got a storm surge risk. Um, it's just about one to three feet of storm surge um, right now from the latest forecast from the NHC. But, uh, you know, don't, don't be on the beaches is, is my huge suggestion uh, because rip currents, rough surf, it's dangerous out there. Um, not a time to be trying to, to surf or to, to catch uh, pictures or anything like that. Now's the time to prepare and get ready for conditions to deteriorate uh, by tomorrow morning. All right. Megan Borowski, Senior Meteorologist for the Florida Public Radio Emergency Network. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us. You got it. Stay safe. All right.